Hey guys, uh, it's Brandon here. I'm, uh, let me give you the lowdown. I've been looking at this pond for, oh shit, it had to be at least three years. Uh, I'm about to fish it and see how it's gonna go. I'm using, <laughs> I'm using lures I bought from a pawn shop for like two dollars for like a whole box of them so you can just imagine how they uh how they look in the condition i'm gonna try it i'm gonna see how much pressure is on these fish i'm going for whatever uh it's not just the pawn shop lures i also got uh i also got some silver foxes i got from walmart or the arctic fox whatever the crap they're called i got a couple of top waters i got you know, whatever came with my $10 rod, the uh, little tackle box with it. And I'm using a spinning rod. It's a Shakespeare. Well, actually, it's the ready to fish at Walmart. I take that back. I'm sorry. My friend Ethan, he's got my fly rod and uh, my good poles. So I'm going to try this, see how it goes. Uh, let me show you this pond. I'm over here in Carrollton, Texas, right over here off of Josie and Frankfurt. And uh, it's real weird. I ain't never seen it. But uh, one side of the pond, you know, is of course fed from a, uh, a creek. But if you go the other side, there's a creek that connects to a park and it's frisbee golf and everything. I looked in there, looked at that part. There ain't no fish. And if there was, they're tiny. And so I gave up on that spot. Didn't even try to fish it. I have a few secret locations around the DFW area that even, even uh, you know, people live here their whole life, they probably never, never even thought about fishing it. One of my secret spots for sure has whew, every bit of four pound brim, and it's probably the size of a swimming pool. Let me get ready up here, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm working with so y'all know. Uh, I wear a bandana around my head. I do it at work too. Keep the keep the sun off the back of your neck. I don't believe in the safe faces or or the neck guards or whatever. They're uh they're pretty hot and I, I like to breathe and stuff. They say they're lightweight and they work. Here we go. Here's a ready to fish. Let's broke down two pieces. I'm gonna show you all these lures. I'll bring them out one at a time. I hope to God they didn't spill in my bag. I'm using, it's called Blue Fox. I'm sorry, it's called Blue Fox. Blue Fox, um, I use their lures, the, uh, the shining minnow or whatever they're called. They look like a fish head on it with a spoon. I was, I meant to grab that last time. Come find out. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong ones off the shelf. Let's see here. This is what we're working with. <laughs> I mean, the popper, I bought the poppers, so don't think anything of that. The only thing that's actually worth the crap is, you know, a couple of dive baits, a couple of chatter baits. I don't, I'm not a big spinner bait fan, but, uh, I, I live by Blue Fox ever since I was a kid. My grandfather took me fishing, and he, he showed me the light to these, for sure. A uh, couple of spoons. They're pretty cool, I guess. Like I said, I bought these for two bucks off of an older gentleman. He was a Korean vet, so I was, you know, a lure is a lure. Uh, not a big fan of beetle spin, but I got it anyway. You know, it's better to have it than not need it than need it not have it. Let's see. I think that is all. Found a couple of bobbers. All right, let's see how we're gonna go with this. Right now, I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna start off with that silver fox I was telling you about. Is that? That's my silver fox. I'm gonna start out with my silver fox. I'm going with pink. Don't know why. I'm feeling it. First thing I grab pretty much. So. Uh, I'm get her out here. Mm. 
That sounded like a broke tooth. I do all sorts of fishing. Um, as y'all heard early in the video, my friends got my fly fishing run. I actually, um, I also tie flies too. Didn't make a business out of it or anything, so y'all don't get too excited. Sorry guys. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, my real job is right now being a mechanic slash loop tech at work. I wouldn't say mechanic, but light mechanic, I guess you can say. And I'm about to show y'all this pond once I get this pole rigged up. I know the suspense is killing y'all what this pond looks like. It's a pretty neat pond. Um, like I said, I've I seen about three years ago. Been, been wanting to come out here. Don't know why I haven't. And so I, I said heck with it. Might as well try it out today. Sitting around the house not doing anything. is kind of, you know, heavy, heavy on the mind. So... <laughs> I'm kind of feeling optimistic. I've, I've had positive buys going by it every time, so it's only a matter of time that I tried it. That's it. And out of total, out of all my tackle here, it's not all my tackle, by the way, not all my fishing poles. This is my just in case pole, as I call it. Just in case if I need a rod, I have it. You know, some unexpected fishing trip, here I go kind of thing. Until I get my real poles back. Now bear with me, maybe in the video, I'm gonna try to get it as best I can. I'm doing this off my phone. I'm not rich enough for a GoPro yet, so. Y'all like and subscribe. Of course, I'm going to upgrade. Okay. Here's the pond. Once I switch the cameras.